Um, we figured out our second set of our day so far. Um, we have Villa Dramatic vs. Aura, um, Fellow Playing Fox, Aura, pretty good Peach player from Oregon. Um, these two have been playing and interacting more since Bella has become more active as a competitor after a pretty long break. Uh, Aura, while becoming only more and more active and better and better, um, these two playing now is going to be uh, kind of an interesting butting ahead because they've been playing a lot and talking a lot kind of about this matchup too. Um, Bello just recently played Rustin at the Bridgetown uh, Blitz event a couple weeks ago, and Aura went over that set with him, I think, this morning. So, like, it's interesting to see the set start, and it's the same stage as that set happened. Uh, same colors, same everythings, right? We got um, some samples. I know I watched that Rustin set from Bello and thought, he's doing a lot of stuff right. There's a couple little mistakes, right? And if you clean those up, kind of done a lot. But we're now seeing Bello play a, uh, I don't know if Rustin would agree, but just an outright better Peach player, right? So you can have to see where those things come out. They also watched like this set on this stage and everything this morning right to like review the set so like that could provide insight to either one of these players with ideas right i think kind of fairly so if you think about it right if you both review the same vod um i feel like you end up with kind of the same information that could be relevant to you anyway. hmm. i love finding some success to start off with a good dash dance there and then having a little bit of a um, catch for that down tilt. Make a bad situation from it. Or it takes a clean one. But they do move on. And we'll see what sort of bands and counter picks we see here. Almost a really scary start there. Um, held my breath for a second there to see how that went. rising aerials to see what sort of space you can take. And that's guaranteed. Once you see the spot where Oro's in there capable of being, there's no tools, no double jumps, no floats. Um, nothing to really trick up there to make that situation happen any differently. But it does bring it right back to make it even. A really ambitious edge guard there. It makes me think of like the, the uh, eggs edge guards with some really ambitious stuff for Peach. Oh my gosh, what a crazy edge guard for Oro, actually. Started a, such a sticky situation for Aura on that offstage spot, but he really converted it to make it work for him. A lot of recognition there to um, think, hey, I don't have a lot of resources where I am. The box really wants to take me out right now, and thinking about what they, what sort of choices they might do to get that. And that situational uh, familiarity, I think, helped out a lot to come up with a solution there. A really, really good edge guard situation there. Soft back hair hit into the near there. Um, but a really slick, uh, go to ledge and then invincible back air. Unfortunate trap there. Hmm. Oh, nice. The first side B from ledge, actually, but Aura was ready to cover it really quick. Okay. That, that could just be it. Yeah, and without a jump, that unfortunately makes that angle just not doable for Vila. I think Vila's gonna have a lot of stuff to learn from that set, though. Um, and when you walk away with a set, like having some new ideas, that's not the worst thing you can end up with. 